a little video on me feeding my beta fish freeze dried budworms. And um, here they are, this is what they look like inside. I've had this for quite some time now, over eight months. This food lasts very long. I have a lot of fish. Oh, here comes my cat. Now, I'm just going to get just a little teeny weeny bit. And here we go. There he goes. I accidentally forgot what this guy's name is. I have 18 bait of fish, so um, I tend to forget some of their names sometimes. I can't remember if I named him Slick or something else. I don't remember his name. <laughs> That's bad. Um, I didn't remember his name, but I forgot it. But there he is. Cute little guy. There we go. All happy now. And there's my kitty cat. She's got a little curly tail. See? She has a twin sister, too. But her tail isn't curly, but they are twins. Look at that. Cute, eh? She's so cute. Okay, next thing to Okay, this is Lucas. There's his tank. A bit of bloodworm. Just a teeny weeny bit. I only feed this to them once a week. This is... There we go. Look how pretty he is. Nice slick blue. There you go. here. Simon's first bubble nest. Check it out. He's my newest fish and there's his bubble nest. Look how big that is. Nice, eh? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to show you all the betas, because there's a lot of them. I don't know. I'll see how many I can get through, too. I don't want this video to go over 10 minutes. Next door is Comets. Oh, yeah, this is his, um, this is, uh, Simon's Cage. This is Comets. I actually feed them only once a day and it's snowing at night. Hand. Look at his bow nest. Still be debating if I want to breed him or not. I just worry about the injury that my females might, you know, suffer. It's just my females are in such good health right now. Their fins are like perfect. There's no rips, no damages, and I'm afraid if I breed them, he'll damage their fins and rip them and everything. So I don't know if I'm gonna breed them. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe I'll do guppies. Okay, here's Cloud. This guy's getting excited. Here we go. I was thinking for a while to get uh, frozen uh, blood worms, but I already had brine shipping Daphne, or whatever it's called. And I already have freeze dried blood worms. I'm gonna wait until most of this goes away. I don't know if I'm gonna get frozen. There's that. Alright. Next door. 
This is Cody. It's Cody's tank. Very just teeny weeny little bubble nest there. Getting all excited. It's too much. My hands are a little wet now. There we go. There's Charlie. So I read bubbles, so I just recently cleaned this tank out. Alright, here's Chester. It's tank. Here's the Asher's. I actually like his tank. So it looks like I actually have to fix this tank up there. But... Hmm. There he goes. Munch, munch, munch. Beautiful. It's her tank. Oh, hopefully she'll notice that. She's a little busy swimming back and forth right now. Hang on a second. She'll get it. <laughs> but that's Ariel's thing. Here is Jackson. It's 2.5 gallon. Put it right here. There we go. I'm going all crazy like. Ooh. I think that was the food yet. Yeah. I'll have to get some more. I think we did. Okay. This one I'm going to need two hands, so I'm just going to put this down. And there we go. And I'm going to show you my tank gallon. I actually added a few things, took a couple new decorations, purple plant, and my female bin that was in the one gallon you might is now in the tank gallon with a couple white clouds. There's only two white clouds in here, but I do plan on buying seven more to make their schooling fish finer. But that's what it looks like. But anyways, that's it for now. This is almost ten minutes. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.